Energy stability and insufficiency is one of the major problems of the Philippines. In a report in 2019 by the World Bank, 4.4% of households in the Philippines lacks access to electricity. While our nation is rich in local renewable sources, 49% of our energy supply comes from imported sources and 66% comes from non-renewable sources. The use of fossil fuels has largely contributed to air pollution through increase in greenhouse gas emissions, endangering the health of the Filipino people. One way to achieve energy self-sufficiency and shift away from fossil fuels is by exploring renewable sources of energy. We have the Center for Advanced Materials for Clean Energy Technologies based on Indigenous Materials or CAMSET. This is established with the goal of developing biomass-derived materials for fuel cells as energy conversion devices and for supercapacitors as energy storage devices. The center is a collaboration between the University of Santo Tomas with Mapua University and with Adamson University. This is the first project of CAMSET on fuel cell electrodes by yours truly, Dr. Bernard John Tongo of the University of Santo Tomas. Fuel cell technology is a clean source of energy. Fuel cell uses chemical energy to efficiently produce electricity. It has higher efficiencies with lower to zero emissions. Our fuel cell is a direct ethanol fuel cell or DEFC. It uses ethanol as a renewable fuel source. Platinum is a very expensive metal used as electrode material in fuel cells. Our research study aims to find other alternative materials to platinum. We are looking at agricultural wastes like rice straws or kitchen wastes like fruit peels. We burn these materials at very high temperatures and use these as electrode materials. These waste materials are readily available for use as electrode materials for fuel cells and we need not depend on a very expensive platinum. The synthesized electrode materials are derived from biomass, thus, it enables us to convert these agricultural wastes into high-value energy materials. This is the second project of CAMSET on fuel cell membranes by Dr. Dalia Podaka of Mapua University. Another part of the fuel cell is the membrane. The heart of the fuel cell. Nafion is the material used for the membrane of the fuel cell. However, Nafion is expensive and not very stable at high temperature. To improve the fuel cell performance, we are looking at possible materials such as Philippine clays and silica to be incorporated in the membrane of the fuel cell. Findings of this study will significantly contribute to prospering the manufacture of localized fuel cell components, benefiting both the energy and transport sectors of our society. This is the third project of CAMSET on fabric supercapacitors by Dr. Cristina Binag of the University of Santo Tomas. Energy that we can harness from variable renewable sources like solar and wind energy cannot be stored in common batteries because the fluctuating current from these sources can impair and damage typical batteries. Another device that we can store energy is supercapacitor. Supercapacitors are better suited for these applications because they can store energy quicker and handle extreme variations of current. We aim to improve the performance of supercapacitor. We are developing new electrode materials using fabrics like indigenous water hyacinth, banana, abaca, or piña fibers blended with cotton fibers as the base substrate for the electrode. We are also using biochar from rice straws and rice husks. This fabric supercapacitor, an energy storage device, is made up of materials that are sustainable and are environmentally friendly.
the Energy Utilization Management Bureau, EUMB, through its Alternative Fuels and Energy Technology Division, AFETB, of the Department of Energy, DOE, is in full support to the Center for Advanced Materials for Clean Energy Technologies based on Indigenous Materials, or CAMSET. In 2015, the Philippine Textile Research Institute and the University of Santo Tomas started a significant partnership with the signing of a Memorandum of Agreement. This agreement promoted a strong research cooperation on the utilization of natural textiles for the fabrication of supercapacitors using indigenous textiles as electrode materials. We at the DOSC PTRI are therefore very pleased to partner with the Research Center of Natural and Applied Science of USD to further the use of these indigenous materials through the program Center for Advanced Materials for Clean Energy Technologies or CAMSET. We envision a sustainable society through a clean and viable energy. We thank the Department of Science and Technology and our partners for making these a reality.